this short video I'd like to illustrate how one can use a center line to create a linear diameter and also much more easily create revolved solids or surfaces inside Inventor. So I've started a sketch and I just want to walk you through the process. So I'm going to go ahead and create a simple part. And maybe it'll be a disc of some size. So the matter, the shape doesn't really matter. And then we'll just close it up. Give this a dimension from here to here. And we'll say that that is. <clears throat> 0.375, there we go, sorry, a little bit of a brain lock there. Now I have another dimension here that I could apply, but if I wanted to make a radial component, I could try to add the radius, or if I know what the diameter is, I could create the shape using the diameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out of the general dimension command and I'm going to take what's going to be the center of my shape, select it, and I'm going to utilize the center line format. And so what the center line format does is it allows me to create a, uh, <clears throat> a different type of a dimension called a linear diameter. And so now if I dimension either from the center line to this edge or from the edge to the center line, it doesn't matter, instead of that straight linear dimension, it actually gives me a diametral dimension. And let's just say that this is going to be a garbage dimension like 3 whoops, 3.841. Now, <clears throat> if that had been a nice even dimension like 4, I could just dimension the bottom line or the spacing between the two vertical lines and say 2. But the linear diameter is really helpful for a dimension that's not a nice even number. And oftentimes when working with radial components, they aren't exactly a nice even number that's easy to do the math in the head. So <clears throat> we could do that. And once we generate that, it would then finish up our sketch. And we could, this one was pretty easy, but we could come back in here as well, delete this dimension. And we could also apply that between this and the point and also create that linear diameter dimension. So once we do that, I can finish the sketch, and once I finish the sketch, I can launch into the revolve command, and the center line also aids in the revolution, because as soon as it sees a center line, then there's only one profile, it will automatically pick that as the axis. So then I go ahead and hit OK, and now I've got my revolved shape. So just a quick tip on using the center line, this works very well inside of the revolve command and hopefully that can help streamline those types of designs for you. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope all is well, and have a blessed day.